1,000 bed spaces allocated towards this service. And this only accounts for those who are in need of low level support and have a low level needs. This doesn't take into account things like children's homes, residential care homes, or uh, care facilities for those who may be more physically or mentally challenged. In recent times, we've seen the demand for this sector rise quite dramatically, and you may have seen it pop up into your world a little bit more, but it does create a unique situation in which landlords can now become social investors. I always think to myself, if you can run a business or an enterprise where you can help someone as well as make the same profit, then why won't you help? Um, and that's what a lot of landlords are doing at this particular time. So for example, a typical lease can be locked for five years in which the tenant, which will be the care provider, will pay all the bills, handle all the maintenance, and landlords often hear very little about the property. Our job at Warden Brooks is to match these two sides together with our unique experience as you know, being actual providers in the industry and ensure that that transition is seamless, ensure that both the landlord and the care provider are protected, make sure that the house remains compliant and also provide a bit of a consultancy service for both landlord and provider. Because in our own experience, there's not much that we haven't seen or if we haven't seen it directly, we know someone that has. And in most cases, landlords are better off lending their properties for social services. As a social housing agent, we have an obligation to not only care about the landlord and the care provider, but also the residents. This means that we try to make sure that each property is to the correct spec. A lot of properties that we come across are, quite frankly, substandard and somewhere that we wouldn't house people ourselves. So we work with landlords and care providers to raise the standards of the industry, help them to understand what's acceptable and what is not, and also ensure that for the duration of this contract, everything is kept above board, everything is kept compliant, and we ensure that the people, most importantly, that will be occupying these properties will be happy. If you want to learn more about supported housing, follow us on social media, sign up to our blog, which we'll be releasing often, or if you prefer to have a conversation, feel free to get in touch. Thank you.